Electro Citroen, perhaps one of, if not the most controversial character within the PVZ shooter community. No matter where you go, from YouTube, to Reddit, to various Discord servers, there always seems to be some sort of argument between two parties, harshly debating over the performance of this particularly controversial variant. Some say he's the worst character to ever exist in the game, claiming the Citroen rework completely killed his performance, whilst other people claim that he is still viable, and in some cases, a top tier character even with the nerfs. Tonight, we shall uncover the true nature of the Electro Citroen, what caused the global debates about him across the community, and to see if from a statistical standpoint, he even is what people say about him. Now obviously, before we can begin our self-assessment on the character, we must first take a look at where the debate of this character began in the first place. The most obvious place to look for most people would probably be the May 2018 patch for Garden Warfare 2, where PopCap chose to make all Citroens handicapped to close range gun fights. Whilst most would say that Electro Citroen suffered the most out of this patch, it is important to mention that most of the other Citroens also suffered nearly as much in this patch. However, the claims that Electro ended up becoming the worst would be few and far between, up until the 20th of February 2020, where Wolfie plays would upload a video expressing his opinion on why the Electro Citroen was the worst, where he stated this quote. The easiest way I can explain why he's bad is if I explain why he used to be good. E Citroen has always been like a range character, he's never been that good up close. The thing is, back in the day, this guy didn't have any damage drop off whatsoever, which meant like, with his full charge he can hit you for something like 80 plus and I think they nerfed his first charge a little bit but I know you used to be able to splash people with that for like 50 and there was no drop off which meant he could do it from literally anywhere so fighting this guy it wasn't even like a case of whether he wins or loses the matchup he wins the matchup by default because he never has to get within your killing range to kill us. And then the Citron rework came along and it basically fucked it all up. They basically looked at the Citron class as a whole and said, unless you have your gun literally up their asshole, you're hitting one damage. And thus, E Citron instantly loses his gimmick. It would be this video alone that would end up starting the formation of opinions surrounding the character, with people now claiming that Electro Citron was the worst character in the entire game. Now to clarify, Wolfie is not at fault in this scenario, for all he has done, he voiced his opinion about Electro Citroen in a video, with some basic statements explaining his decision on why he thought that way, as in most cases, people should be allowed to express freely what they think of a certain character. What ended up happening is that people took these statements as facts and classified them as undeniable proof, without any actual conceivable evidence to prove their claims. Hell, even I fell into this trap myself thinking he was absolute shite when my channel was practically non-existent back in the day. This kind of behavior would extend throughout the entire community, with people memeing on supposed Electro Citroen mains, as more and more people began to pile onto the sole opinion that Electro Citroen was deemed as worthless, meaningless, unsightly, and a character that you might as well just keep to private play in the XP fish. It seemed that at this point, Electro Citroen's fate had been sealed, doomed to sit at the bottom of so many tail lists by the community and many of its creators. Though, as if by some miracle, a light appeared at the end of the tunnel that would change that. Whilst most of the community continued to frame Electro Citroen as a bottom tier character, a growing vocal minority have recently began to contest and fight the claim. Posts began to surface questioning if Electro Citroen was really as bad as people said about him, stating that whilst Electro Citroen may not be up to his former glory, he still has relatively decent stats with his charge attacks, making him a formidable photo face. These constant statements would go back and forth throughout the community, with the line becoming more and more equal as time passed. People ended up in either one of two camps. They either thought he was underrated or thought that he was nothing but a useless joke. This would become apparent in a Discord conversation I had with Random a few weeks prior. To be precise, this discussion was about uploading the trailer for the Zombopolis Garden Warfare 2 tournament, which was voiced and crafted by the talented Craftex. I was asked to promote it for them, and I gladly accepted, especially with how much they've assisted with me in various scenarios. 
when watching the video myself to check it out, I happened to notice that at just under 3 minutes into the video, where they're showcasing the list of characters that weren't allowed for the tournament, it can be noticed that Electro Citron was a part of the ban list. This information would translate to several comments on the video questioning the decision with disbelief. Now, what are my opinions on the character? Well, it's sort of been a bit of a back and forth since I used to be on the side where I thought he was bottom tier and rarely used him, though the more I did, the more I've opened up to him in recent times. What you have to consider with Electro Citron is that he is a 200 health tank with a chargeable primary that can deal up to a maximum of 90 damage in a single instance, who also has a shield and a stun that can lock down mechs, and on top of that, very good mobility with his bull form. The charge shots do grant him more range and in some cases more range than the other variants, though not by a huge margin. Though even at long range, his max charge can still deal quite a bit of damage thanks to both its high splash damage and chain lightning. One of the most well-known players who uses Electro Citroen, whose footage you've been seeing in the background of this section, Nixley, does have a statement they'd like to share regarding the character. I think most people don't know how good some characters are, and when I see Isetron being the most underrated character, just because someone that is well known said he sucks, it just pisses me off how everyone just copies their opinion without knowing TTK potential and other stuff like this characters and the right hands can like destroy lobbies, it can actually make people rage quit. It's it's actually sad. Like look at Reddit, it's all just people standing wolfy and his opinions. And as someone who mained Isetron for like a month, I'd say that he deserves to be like the best one easily. Tonight, we've covered the history of Electro Citroen, figuring out what started the hate train for the character, as well as figure out in recent times how many people have had a change of heart for him. Whilst ultimately, what you think of Electro Citroen is entirely your choice, it should be important to consider the many factors at play that may alter your perception with this character. This is not the official documentary, for that one is still in development and will be released on the 30th of September. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this in the future, and good night.